Hey guys. Welcome to the full guide on how to complete under the surface solo stealth. Before we dive in, there's some important information to know. Key locations like the security room, manager's office, server room, and certain items can vary, which I'll showcase later. Here's a tip you'll find useful. If you restart the heist from within the game, the randomized locations, including where paintings spawn, will remain the same. This can make things easier if you didn't succeed the first time. Now, let's get started. First off, I would recommend to get a zipline for this heist, which only costs 10k. Also, I would recommend to equip a silencer on a pistol or to have throwing knives. Also, get the motion sensor, but cameras will also work. Once you spawn, you will have to collect the zipline, which should be somewhere next to you and get to this side of the building. You can either mask up and climb up here and deploy the zipline or go down here and deploy it here. Now we want to get to the security room to disable the cameras. There are three possible areas where four essential rooms that you will need can spawn. These rooms are the security room, manager's office, server room and break room. Also in each of these rooms a phone will spawn, which you can scan to obtain a QR code. You'll likely need five of these codes to access all the exhibition rooms. If the security room isn't here go to the roof and get to the next area where the room could be down here on the left. If it is still not here, you can also check down here. Once you find it, avoid the guards and cameras and lockpick your way into the room. Take down the guard and answer his radio to avoid trouble. On overkill difficulty you are able to kill two guards without problems and once you kill the third a search will start. Search is still not that problematic since guards won't check for bodies in any of these rooms. But they will check exhibition rooms so keep that in mind. Let's reserve the second or possibly third kill if we get into the trouble and some guard spots us. Next we have to get to the manager's office. Once you get in it hack the computer. On the second page we will find two possible exhibition rooms where the UMA paintings are. There is a one special picture which requires a flash drive to unlock it. There are two copies of this picture, one real and one fake. You will need a spectrophotometer to check which one is real and insert the flash drive into that one or else the real one will get destroyed. Page 3 lists two more exhibition rooms with Vicario paintings. An essential artwork will always be in exhibition room E1. Our focus will be on the top floor, rooms E4 through E7. Make a note of the rooms you need to access. Now skin the phone on the desk. Behind you there is also a hidden safe. Unlock it and collect the money in the flash drive for the Uma painting. Every so often a manager will get into this room. Wait for him and tie him up when you get the chance. Now let's get to the server room to collect the spectral photometer. Also there should be another phone to scan in here. If you also scan the phone from the break room which should have been next to one of the previous rooms you now have 4 QR codes so we can deal with the whole top floor. Navigate silently and unlock the necessary rooms on the top floor. Once in them you will have to get to the end of the room where the power switch is located to turn of the alarm system for the corresponding room. The rooms can either have static lasers to avoid, dynamic lasers which have two pair of lasers and you will have to navigate through them, or a sensor on the floor and you will have to play floor as lava to turn off the system. There can also be a motion scanner. If it hits you just don't move and wait for it to pass and you will be fine. Once you have turned off the alarms we need to first turn off the upper floor security bars. You will need to find a panel which can spawn anywhere on these walls by the fence which overlooks the bottom floor. Once you find it, activate it, and start disabling the security bars by standing in these circles. Avoid the guards and be cautious of civilians as well. Once done we can finally loot the upper floor. Each room has three art pieces to loot. If you get into a room which could have an Uma painting get to it. It should look like this. Lockpick it and open the display case. Put the spectral photometer next to it and check if it is genuine. If it is plug in the flash drive and loot it normally. If not, just ignore it. I like to loot these exhibition rooms like this and store the stolen art on the roof, staircases, or balconies. 
Once done with the upper floor, get to the bottom floor, preferably through a stairwell like this one. Be cautious since the lead guard is usually down here. If you get the chance, I like to put a motion sensor on him. You will also need one more QR code. Some potential locations are the restrooms or this specific spot. Now again disable the security bars. The game will show you where to find the panel. After this, access Exhibition Room E1 and steal the Greg Jed painting. Transport all stolen art to the external staircase where our supply waits. After securing all pieces, move them to the drop-off point. Once you've successfully transported everything, make your exit and you are done. I've also included a full completed run for reference. Plenty of ways inside. Choose one. Okay, it's on. Yeah, hi there, Central. Listen, I'm mildly psychic, and I have this feeling there's something big going on across town. I think somebody needs to head over there and take a look. Drive to disable security for the Uma Ladette painting. Don't lose that machine. We'll need it to determine which of the Uma paintings is the original.
This place used to be an old tobacco warehouse. Does it still smell like cigars? Or has the stench of pretentiousness taken over? Let me go. There's a guard!
cars on the ground floor are disabled. God. Watch the guard. In the guard. Yeah, uh, so no reason to panic, but I think there's a mountain lion in the staff bathroom. I slipped him a kebab and it seems to have calmed him down. Is that right? I've heard that before. Sounds off.
steal some more. That concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.